Hello and welcome to our video walkthrough of our Willoughby Rio. It's a 3512 3 bed from 2010. It's priced at 14995 We've got double glazing and we've got electric plinth and panel heaters. Gonna have a quick look around and uh, check a few things out. Let us know if you've got any questions. Starting off then you can see our living room area here. We've got this L-shaped fitted seating area on our right hand side. Upholstery is absolutely fine. Left hand side we've got a dining fitted seating area. You would have a dining table usually, there's not one in here but we will fit one. That's all included in the price. Got a couple of dining chairs, usually you would just have a stool um, or two but someone's obviously been using chairs with it instead. We have got the one stool there so that's not a problem. You can either keep the chairs or we can supply another stool. See what you want to do but either way we stick a table there. Um, you've got a gas fire over on our side here with shelves and cupboard doors and things like that around. Um, plenty of space there for a television which is ideal turning then to look uh, again at the front here um, bay window on the front just sticks off the front of the caravan a little bit gives you that little bit of a, a ledge on the front there and then turning to look across the rest of the caravan carpets in the living room area here a little bit tired in places just where people's feet i think have been um in front of the sofa really just where as i say people are rubbing their feet on it um but that's about it other than that it's pretty tidy a little bit of rust on the front of the fire but we are able to tidy those up or replace the front, so that's something we can do. It's a little bit just looking at the upholstery actually, just a little bit of fraying on a couple of areas just where the pattern probably has just led to that happening. Sometimes these patterns, there's the odd pattern where you get a little bit of fraying um, because of the way that the strands are done, but um, nothing really to worry about I would say. Coming to the kitchen then, we've got a little cupboard on the left hand side, just to point that out, it's quite a big cupboard actually, could double up as something like a coat cupboard um, there even though it's in your living room. But you've got plenty of kitchen cupboards over here on the left hand side, above and around the kitchen sink. A little bit of sun damage I think to this door over here by the window, just where it's been um, sat there with the, the, the sun coming in onto that for quite a lot because of the window there. Probably also got a little bit of delamination on a couple of the doors. I can see this one here just on the bottom starting to go a little bit, but actually um, just ducking down, usually around the hob. Yeah, maybe a little bit on the underside of the ones by the hob, but actually the doors are in all pretty good condition. Much better than some Rios that we get through that, that quite often have quite bad delamination. So you can see there, got lots of cupboards, gas oven and uh, grill and a hob there, under counter fridge. And then we've got our one exterior door where we come in there. A bit more sun staining on the doors over in the corner. Pretty common with the Rio, depending on how the caravan's been sighted. But you can see, although the sun's shining on it now, you can see a little bit of discoloration, but really not affecting the use of the caravan. Uh, water heater there, clearly been taken apart for something. So don't worry about that. That is something that we would replace or fix. Looking down the hallway then, we've got um, a door separating off our hallway and bedrooms. So coming to the back of the caravan, we've got vinyl down the hallway. Rear of the bedroom, we've got a main bedroom here. We've got back mattress in here, no bed base, but that's something again that we will fit as part of the service. Cupboards over the bed and a shelving unit, plus bedside tables, wooden headboard. Turn in to look at our wardrobe cupboard and then a couple of drawers and a plinth heater right at the bottom. People do ask what a plinth heater is. You can see it at the bottom of the cupboard here and it blows out hot air, runs off the electric. It does usually cause some delamination around it. Um, this edge on the cupboard here, on the drawer, sorry, edge is going a little bit, but again, fairly decent standard doors actually. Um, a lot of Rios, as I say, because of the way they're made have delamination, but those look fairly decent. Coming out of there, turning to our left-hand side, we have one of our twin rooms at the rear door side of the caravan. We've got two single beds. We've got uh, those shelves over the top there on the wall. And then we've got wardrobe cupboard and drawers below, plus that plinth heater. So a plinth heater in each of the bedrooms. And then spinning rounds, we've got our other twin room. So just to try and show you, we've got twin room, main bedroom, another twin room off the back here. So those two at the back of the caravan and then we've got the other twin room along the off side of the caravan. This one's a little bit bigger I would say than the other twin room, just slightly bigger, a bit more space between the beds. Um, potentially bigger bed uh, mattresses, but um, not 100% sure on that. And then you turn and you've got your wardrobe, a couple of drawers and a plinth heater at the bottom. So same same thing really with the two bathroom, uh, bedrooms, sorry, twin bedrooms. Hallway here then, so we've got two doors. We've got one here on the left here, which opens up and shows us our bathroom. 
where we find our toilet, our sink, electric panel heater there, and then our shower enclosure. It's a 50-50 door, so it's a sliding door, goes back about halfway, but then you can see it's a good size shower enclosure. In there. Coming out of there and turning to our left, we've got another toilet. It's a three bed, so two toilets in this one, which is handy to have sink and toilet there. So a uh, little shelving unit, all self-explanatory. Coming back out of there to our living area, we've got one external door and our boilers on the left-hand side in the double cupboard. And then we've got a shelving unit here on the left as well. Let's have a look outside. So we're outside our Willoughby Rio 3512 three bed. Going to have a quick look around the outside. The front of the caravan looks fairly damage free, at least of anything significant, uh, as does the off side of the caravan. Again, with these caravans, they are sort of 5, 10, 12, 15 years old. So the odd little nick here and there isn't going to be highlighted because it's just to be expected with a second hand caravan. But anything significant we would report got a gas regulator on the back of the caravan uh, we do take those off as part of our testing um, you see it's quite a rusty bracket we don't know how old the reg regulator is so we would remove that and ask you to fit your own when you get it commissioned by a gas safe engineer ducking through the brambles here at the back there grill style we've got our door side of the caravan just look notice a little bit of damage to the outrigger here at the back just where it's been bent a little bit and a little bit rusty on the end so that just needs a little bit of a um, an extra plate put on the uh, on the edge but the rest of them looking at all the way down the chassis the rest of them all look fine so it's just that one at the end perhaps the sea air has been on there someone might have had some decking attached and they ripped it off a little bit harshly and that has happened chassis itself obviously not just a standard painted chassis I say painted, it basically just means it's not galvanised, but you can see the steel's all decent there. Bit of surface rust to be expected on this age caravan, but nothing to worry about really. So that has been our Willoughby Rio. It's a 35 by 12 three bed from 2010. We've got double glazing, we've got electric heaters, which are plinth heaters in the bedrooms and panel heaters in the bathrooms. Any questions, give us a shout. It's 14995. Uh, yeah, until next time.